This week on Make It Mine, we are in Chicago with our resident, Joyce. Joyce is an active member of her community and gives back by making special blankets that she donates to the homeless. Our designer, Kate, hopes to bring a refreshed design to her space and give Joyce an upgraded area for her to work on her knitting. Hi, are you Joyce? Yes, ma'am. I'm Kate. Would it be okay if we take a few minutes and talk a little bit about your design? Yeah. Awesome, sure. thanks. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you like about this space. Do you ever look out the window? Well, that's the you... main reason I picked this one. The houses I bought had normal size windows. These are big. Is there something special out there that you like to look at? Kids out there playing ball and everything. That's it's pretty cute. Yeah, ties me in with the rest of the world a little yeah. bit. It might be nice to showcase it in some sort of way? Yeah, and I don't want to cover the windows. That's one of the features. So mm -hmm. maybe a valance would tie things all together. How do you like to use the space? Most of my stuff is handwork out here. I make quilts, tops for our church quilters. But when I got started with these bags, I had to sort of reorganize. It started a couple years ago. I put up a sign here and saying, when you're done with your plastic bags, I'll take them. See, this one's only about half done. Then when I get to six feet, well, I've got a full mat. Look at and that. it's waterproof. The guys can use them. I'm really excited, but it seems kind of like a tall order. We have very little time to get all of this done. I want to bring some color to the space because right now it looks really sterile. She has such a vibrant personality. I really want to capture that. She has a beautiful window. She needs some drapes. That way we can sort of capture some pops, but I don't really want to detract from the window. She does these awesome mats and she needs a place to put those. And it'd be awesome if she had like a flexible solution that would let her lay them out and then work on them later if she needs to. I'll call it a sewing table or a craft table or something. Like that's a gotta have, so I'm gonna do it. I think I have to work to win her over because this is something entirely new for her. She's putting a lot of trust into me. I think it's going to be kind of scary for her, and I might push her out of her comfort zone a little bit. While Kate gets to work on Joyce's apartment, Joyce spends a little time with her friends at the community's daily activities. Plan of attack. Uh, first thing I want to do is take all the furniture off that wall. We're going to paint this. We need to get the drapes installed. We're going to have to kind of hang them up, and you're going to want to get ready to hem. At some point, we're going to get the electrician over here to take that light down. I'm a bit worried about how we're going to do all that very quickly. Yeah. So let's just start so there. Dude, we're going to get this done quick. Last famous words. <laughs> Oh, if you step back, it looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce is a joy. She's very alive. She's very funny. She's very smart. And she brings something to this community that I wish everyone had. Well, I've been fascinated with her project with the plastic bag mats that she's crocheting, because I'm a knitter and a crocheter. We have a group that meets once a week called Knitwits, which I love. And so I've actually talked to her and cut the bags for her. She has been doing that ever since I got here. She's crocheting the plastic, getting them long enough so that they will be beds for the homeless. It's a project that I can do, and it does a good job in two directions, so I can't complain when they said a makeover, and I thought it was wonderful that it could happen to her. I'm anxious to see what they have done. Hopefully she'll let me in her room so I can see it. I'm dying to see what I've got. I'm gonna look for any areas that need like a little more touch up or whatever. Oh, here's one. Micromanager. Micromanager. There, oh, this is spot. 
I'm feeling great. The wall was way faster than I expected. I somehow thought it would take like two hours to paint this. And I think it's been an hour. So I'm feeling really good. I want to get the furniture in here and then we'll know better what we really have. Okay, it's pattern on pattern, which is pretty bold, but it's still interesting. A little bit done, Nicole. It's very subtle. No. I don't like it at all. I have other fabric. Y yeah, but how are we going to sew two tape, two pillows in this short of time? You think you can do it? We just have to make it work. All right, let's go for it. I don't like the yellow. It's too mustardy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sewing table did not arrive, I'm guessing. It was supposed to come yesterday. Kate's plan for Joyce's special knitting table has a little snag when she finds out that the delivery is delayed and looks like it won't be delivered in time for the final reveal. Folding table, Costco. There's a, there's a trestle table at Ikea. Oh, it's gonna take an hour to buy it. I mean, hour to get there, hour to get there at Ikea. Maybe we can come up with something. Go pull. Let's, Let let's no, we keep working on this. Yeah, we have to. Pushing through the speed bumps, Kate and her team hurry through the rest of the design, installing lighting and drapes, and rearranging the furniture while still waiting on the news on the whereabouts of the knitting table. Yeah, there, that was the way to go. Sweet. Ooh, I like it. Right as they are putting on the final touches, they get a call with an update about the table. Oh, that's the porch. Sweet. Okay. It's there. Good. 427. Might work out. All right, Joyce, we're here. Yes. Just outside your front door. We have had a lot of fun working on your place. Uh oh. And I'm so excited for you oh, really? to see it. Yes, I am. So come on in, okay? All right, let's right. go. Oh, 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 for heaven's sakes. Oh, yeah, oh. look at, oh. Oh, I'm glad you like this. Oh, okay. it's perfect. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you a little bit about what we did. Yeah, right. whose house is it? It's yours, it's yours. We gave you a bigger coffee table. I like that it was soft. And if you look down underneath there, that's where some of your plastic bag little tote <laughs> things are. So they're just kind of tucked underneath. Tucked under. I kept your beautiful. Oh, that's Isn't I that love just, that. I love yeah. it too. Frames yeah. match. Yes, every... they do. It worked out beautifully. The blinds are still there. The though. blinds are still there. But it's yes. wide open. But the garbage is all gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful. We vacuumed, we dusted. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. We are so, is so happy you like it. I feel a lot of things. Obviously, I was overwhelmed by her reaction of gratitude, <laughs> the excitement that they felt for the space. It, it, it affected me. It was an amazing experience, something I will always remember, and I cannot wait to see what Joyce does with it moving forward. It was worth it. I will sleep very well tonight. All the little things that I was worried about are taken care of. It's really remarkable. And I still got my view. It's a new, new house. Thank you very much. Joyce's special table for her knitting arrived just in time for the reveal. Kate was able to maximize space in the apartment by finding the perfect folding table for Joyce to work on her knitting projects.